Well, at least we know there are no vampires in the rover. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review The Rover. The Rover is written and directed by David Michaud. Joel Edgerton actually wrote the story for this film, so that's cool right there, right? The film stars Guy Pearce, Robert Pattinson, and Scoot McNary. So this film takes place in Australia 10 years after the global economic collapse. Guy Pearce plays this very bitter and very lonely man. There are these three men that steal his car. Guy Pierce tries to get his car back. One of the men that stole his car is actually Robert Pattinson's brother. Robert Pattinson plays his character named Ray. So Guy Pierce's character forces Robert Pattinson to go with him so he could hopefully find his brother as well as the other men that stole Guy Pierce's car because there is a little reason why he actually wants that car. I couldn't wait for the rover. It just looked really interesting, looked really dark, and I just couldn't wait to see where David Michaud, writer, director, and Joel Edgerton, story writer, were going to take us on this very dirty world. And I got to say, the rover, damn, this is a really good movie right here. I was so engrossed with the rover. Almost all the way through, pretty much from start to finish, with the exception of a few moments. It's very slow. I gotta say that this film is not for everyone. This is a slow burner. It's like killing them softly, except ugh, I hated killing them softly. I don't want to even think about that film. It's basically like that film, except this film is way better than that film, in my opinion. It is a slow moving film and it's very artsy. So if you're not into artsy, very slow moving movies, then The Rover is not for you. But if you love these kind of films, then I think you're going to really like The Rover. Cinematography. Wow. Very beautifully shot. The lighting looks really good, and you re and it really immerses you into this very bad world, very dirty Australia, because that's really where the film takes place. But all I can say is that I would not want to be in that world. I would actually rather be dead than to actually survive. The film does a very good job of making you feel really dirty inside. This is not a film that will make you happy at all. It is depressing, dark from start to finish. Like I said, it moves really slow, but as long as you are completely engrossed with these two characters played by Guy Pearce and Robert Panson, then I really don't think you should have a problem. Guy Pearce and Robert Panson, all the actors are really good, but you know they're very minor, including Scoot McNary. The main ones is really Guy Pearce and Robert Panson, but all I gotta say is that those two, they are just excellent. Guy Pearce, I did not see a Guy Pearce on screen. I saw a lonely, very bitter man who, oh, where all he wants is just a car. He's a man that just really lost everything. But even though he's a bitter man, you could really just feel for him. And I thought Guy Pierce, he just nailed every moment he had. And Guy Pierce, he does not his character does not say that much dialogue, but when you look at his face, you could already know the feeling, the expression that he has. And that's something that <clears throat> really hit me about this film. So Guy Pierce, phenomenal in this film. You know who else is phenomenal? Robert Pattinson. Now, I used to be harsh on Robert Pattinson. I started to like him once I saw Water for Elephants. That was a good movie. I liked that film. He was really good in that movie. So after Water for Elephants, that's when... I started to really like Robert Pattinson as an actor. I think people that are still stuck in the twilight phase need to just get over it. All right, That's, that stuff is gone. Yes, I'm not a fan of Twilight, but we can't keep getting stuck in the past. Robert Pattinson deserves to be recognized. He was really good in Water for Elephants. Cosmopolis, I didn't like that film too much, but I thought Robert Pattinson was really good in that film and maybe quite possibly the best part about that film. Robert Pattinson, he is phenomenal here. 
and I'm gonna be honest, probably the best performance he has ever given. He uses this kind of redneck accent. He talks really slow, but it was a role you could tell that was very challenging for him, but Guy Pierce and Robert Pattinson, they had a huge passion for this, for this project, and I could also tell because of the interviews I've watched with the both of them. And you could just tell they were into their characters the whole time. They wanted us to buy them as characters. Because honestly, I did not see Robert Pattinson. I actually saw Ray, the name of his character, in the film. If you're still stuck in the Twilight phase, watch this movie. This guy is an incredible actor and he needs to get the recognition. So people, if you're stuck in the Twilight phase, get over it. He's moved on. There's moments where the movie plays music and there's moments where the movie has no music, no sound. It's just very quiet. And when there is music, it really elevates the slow tension. The Rover is very well edited. It's very interesting. Even though it is very slow, I was very engrossed by the characters, the dialogue, the cinematography. Very well written by David Michaud and Joel Edgerton and very well directed by David Michaud. I actually really love the ending. Some people are going to really question the ending and are going to feel like the whole movie was just really pointless. I just really loved how the movie as a whole ended and I could get a great understanding as to why they went with that direction for the film so I really bought into that. My only flaws with the rover is just that there were a few moments where it got really dragged. I got really bored in those very few moments but other than that though the rover is Wow. This is one amazing film, very well written, artsy, slow, dark, not a film for everyone, but if you're willing to sit down and get engrossed with these two characters, their journeys, their dialogue, the slow moving scenes, then I think you're going to really appreciate The Rover. So I'm going to give The Rover three and a half out of four stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!